Young Shy Beats. What's going on, family? Yeah, man, we back at it with another Vlogmas video. Yes, guys. got here and we're arriving and we had to come from family man family is important sometimes you got to get out there and do some things a little bit different especially mid in between holidays it's a little awkward but i'll take it all day especially if i'm able to but we ain't here for all that right we're not here for all that right so i have the unique guy in the man i'll be talking to this guy back and forth about what he's doing and i finally get a chance to get here and see him. he made this illicit purchase and not a family. All sporting these things, man. These black black man wagons. <laughs> yes, sir. It's my nephew, man. Mr. Antoine, man. Listen, this brother right here, if you're spending the time in Chattanooga, you probably seen him on television. If you're spending time in New Orleans, you probably seen his face before. We're going to throw a little something right here so y'all can see where he came from. period. I remember just the sheer chaos of the newsroom um, of listening to Paul Barris' reports and it's, you know, tornado here, get underground, you know, everyone hide, everyone hide. And uh, I just remember sitting in the newsroom like, oh my God, what's really happening? When you look at the, the forecast, when you looked at the radar, uh, I couldn't get a grasp of how bad it was seeing just the vast amount of damage. You know, I had never seen anything like that before. And I remember going through neighborhoods and just seeing homes, you know, pushed out into a field, you know, huge homes. And I think what was most shocking was seeing the look on people's faces of just like no hope and just despair. It was just, what do I do next? I'm Greg Johnson here, live at the scene of a very bizarre breaking news story. We're told that monsters, zombies are breaking in homes, even some businesses. Sir, what do you think about all of this? Man, look, see what happened was, brother came out the bayou full of that gas. You heard me? Then they went to the daiquiri shop and got on some more of that gas. And then all of a sudden, they went to biting everybody. I'm talking about, oh, no. On what, sir? I said that gas. You know what that gas is, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Hey, what you doing? Looking at that stupid news, man. Fun on me. talking about monsters on there. Monsters? Breaking into people's houses and taking over businesses. Please, that's and just that's, a movie. Man, I'm not looking at this stupid. I'm not finna watch that, man. Crazy. See that? Yeah. You believe in monsters? No, but you're my master. Ah, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. Oh, my man. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Uh, but listen, man, we're here to holler at Antoine and talk about his couple. Before we get into this call, let's talk about Antoine, man. Tell people who you are, man. Oh, man, I'm just a family man. <laughs> no, man, uh, you know, born and raised in the Midwest and slowly made my way down south uh, here in Birmingham. And, um, you know, it's just been a pleasure, man. A lot of open road. Yes, sir. Things I can do down here, I can't do. No place else. Detroit, yes, man. indeed. So this, is, uh, this, this is this is all right for me. Okay. I can work with it. Yes, sir, man. Tell me about. Uh, tell me about. Tell me about your. Because you know this is a Bros and Cars channel, so I want to know about what was your affinity with cars, and what led you to the car that we about to share with the people we so, have right here. It's funny you, you, you asked that. So, you know, I grew up in the GM family. My mom was a That's plant wow. manager. Wow. Wow. My dad worked on the line. Of wow. Motors. Um, you know, from Flint, Motor City is right up the street. Yeah. Man. So I've always been in the plants. I've That's always very been, interesting. I've always been in the dealership. Yeah. You know, uh, I've seen these cars come down the line when they were literally just piles of metal yeah you know what i'm saying and so really, um, really we really about to get rain yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's, 
<laughs> and look, and it's only four o'clock, y'all. It is getting dark because y'all uh, see this. It's crazy. Yeah, we we're under it's tornado crazy. watch in December. I don't That's know where crazy. they do that. Crazy. But um, I've always had this thing for cars, man. My mom would actually part of her program being a manager. She would get a new car every two or three months. Oh wow! So she had Cadillac. Oh wow! Pontiacs, every two or three months. Every GM car you can think of back in the you know eighties and nineties, she had them. She got them every two or three months, and she, they would just let her drive them. And that my, one of my favorite is fire. Two door Cadillac. She got never forget two door Cadillac, all white, custom red interior, and um, man, we rolled that thing, boy. Oh got man, it too. So you know, I've always been a car guy. Um, I always wanted to have something that represented me yeah right? like, okay I, like, when people think of you know you think of cars like oh he looks like a ford guy right 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 a porsche guy right 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 uh i always wanted a car that defined me okay and so that's you felt I, like it needed to be what color a specific color like purple and gold like, car is dark purple and gold purple purple <laughs> <laughs> if i had a purple and gold car it would be deep purple i always wanted my cars either black yeah um black navy blue or Forest Green. Okay. Okay. I had Forest Green uh, Grand Prix. I had a Forest Green uh, Yukon. Yeah, Grand Prix GTO was my my first Ooh. first car that I bought. Yes, sir. And uh, it was about two hundred and seventy horses. Yeah. Back in that was a lot back then. Oh man, in Michigan. And oh that wow. Thing was a rear wheel drive, and it 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 ate in up. Michigan. In Michigan. And so wow. I knew at that point. I knew the kind of car. I didn't like. It was kind of a muscle car. I wanted more of a luxury sport, but as I got older, I wanted that same where I could put my daughter in. Yeah, it. yeah, you know, yeah. We start to mature a little bit, right? Look nice. We got to do. Fast. We got to do that every once in a while. Yeah, right? you got to grow up. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look nice. We go fast. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Yeah, I didn't want a kid. Yeah, yeah. I ain't nothing to get. Shout out to Kia. Yeah, but I didn't want a kid. Didn't want that, right? I ain't had it. Look, we ain't hating on no. Everybody got what they everybody like. Got what they like. Some people like what they like, and some people just don't like certain things. We are gonna give them that. I had Mercy, a, grace. I had a, a three hundred C. Yes, sir. Three hundred uh, family. Three hundred family. C, man, we got man, a three hundred following. Big three hundred following. So yeah, y'all. That, that right there, I said, okay, Christ is on to something. Yes, they are. And then um, I took another step. And I went to Germany, and that changed my life. <laughs> so let's talk about the decision on where you landed now. Family man, married eight years, going on eight years, and now you got a kid. You want something that represents you well, right? Right. That you still, it, it covers the gambit of everything of who you are right. as a family man. You get to ride the kid, you got the family, you can do the date night, the yada, yada, yada. Right, right. Turn Tell them what led you to where you are, man. So, you know. What led you to what you got? I did some research. Okay. I wanted to get the most, the most out of a four-door sedan. Okay. With the most horsepower I could get. With the most attractive features. Okay. Aesthetics. Yes. Turn a few heads yeah. while, while we're driving around. But was also top safety pick. And sort of a, a, a user's choice, you know. Okay. I did my research. Made sense. I like that. I did my research, man, and it led me to it was it was a toss up between um Mercedes and BMW. So look what we got here, man. Young Shy Beats. How you liking it so far? Oh, I'm going to tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you the story. I remember when they delivered this thing fresh off of the flatbed. Yeah. And I was just looking at it. And I said, you know what? This is what I, this is what I, I this was, this spoke to me. You know, yeah. this, 
from the the aesthetic. So this is a uh, 2018 uh, BMW 535XI all-wheel drive. Uh, 330 under the hood, and with all you know, you you, you get about 290, 300 out of it, depending on what mode you put it in, right? And how you push it. Yes. So I had a Volkswagen prior to this. A lot of punch. Yeah. Turbo. Yeah. You know, a lot of turbo. Um, but a lag on those too. And and you it had, it kick it had in. some go. Yeah. It didn't. It it didn't roar though. No. It didn't bring me. Yeah. You know, it had a lot. Of, it had a lot of a lot of go. Yeah. It didn't bring me. What I wanted it to just growl. Yeah. But I also wanted to be in a suit going to work growling. And the only other car that I've seen that I have been in that does this is a Porsche. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've, I've driven E-Classes. Beautiful car. <laughs> I wasn't there, though. You're literally giving me the stereotype. So you know what the the stereotype around the BMW guys, right? I've heard a few. They usually, once they finish with the... They get these until they can afford a Porsche. <laughs> and you know, I've been eyeballing the Panamera. <laughs> So, so one thing I you're so typical, about, brother. <laughs> I'm the textbook. So one of the things that that really drove me in this direction was I had a friend who had a uh, he had a two series, right? okay, smaller BMW. I rolled with him around New those Orleans. Those are those are peppy, bro. Those thing, are fun. That thing would go. And yeah, you know, this is nice. So then he gets uh, he takes it in. He gets new tires. They give him a rental. Puts it in. Uh, put up. We get an X5. That's what they do, you. Right. Get an X5. That's what they do, you. Get your so nerves bad. Like it, but I'm not an SUV guy. Yeah. So then, after my research, things I was looking for, you landed right at the five series. You know, yeah. say it's the, it is the most useful utility of a full size sedan on the market. Yeah, a lot of trunk space, but aesthetically, can still run with some of the you know still better cars. Like, you know, still you look like money. It's not wide. No. It's a narrow body, but a lot of interior room mm -hmm. and five star ratings all around, you know, because I wanted, again, family to be safe. Right. So what landed me to this one, love this sapphire blue, just metallic sapphire blue color that is special order. When you, you know, you got to, you have to order them like with this. Yeah. Uh, so when I was looking online, I found one that had the color. Now, interior, I've always liked dark black interiors. Really? That was your goal? That was the goal until they said, hey, we have one that we think you might like. And that was when I said, send me pictures. When they did. Man, look at this. It had the peanut butter interior. Correction, brother. That's cinnamon. cinnamon. <laughs> it had a, the cinnamon guts, as they say. <laughs> She nasty. They had the cinnamon guts, man. You know, here's, and here's the other thing that I really liked about this is that the instrument cluster still had, it's digital, but it still has the analog dials, which yes. I loved. I always thought that was something special with German cars. They did a lot of analog. All of them have gone digital since. But with this one, um, I did a couple of things to it, and I'm still going to do a couple of things to it. So for one, before you tell me what you're gonna to do to it, how long have you had it so far? I've had this for three years now. Okay. Going on three years. Three years. Three Pristine years. Condition. Um, it, I think I put maybe fifty thousand miles on it since I've got it. Um, I love the tire size. The BMWs don't like to go anywhere past nineteen. They stay in that nineteen. They now look the, good, the, man. The X5, the SUVs go bigger. Yeah. With the sedans, they like to stay in that nineteen to eighteen range. Um, you know, I, I love the tire design. And so one of the things I did was the first thing I did was I pulled out a lot. Of, it was a lot of a lot of silver, a lot of chrome on here. Yeah, yeah, pulled chrome deleting. The front grill, put in the custom black. Okay. To help blend. With okay, the I see you. Eventually, this grill is going to go away and I'm going to put the M5 grill on it. Okay. Because it's all the M5 grill is cut out the same way as this, just doesn't have vents at the bottom. I like the M5 grill too. Love the M5 grill. Uh, another thing I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to pull this bumper off the back <coughs> and put the M5 bumper on. So this is a standard dual exhaust. Gotcha. M5 bumper wraps around yeah. the exhaust a little bit better. Uh, still has all the sensor places. You know, one of the things I love about this is that you know, 
cars like this, like they have sensors all over them. Yep. But you really can't see them until you get up on get them. Get real up on them. Yeah, I'm just noticing that. There's like, um, there is a uh, wax in Build between up. here, but otherwise you can't see it. It's very, very clean. I love the fact it has short overhangs, rear and front. Yeah. I hate like a long back and yeah. long front. Yeah. Very short overhangs, but a lot of space, a lot of features that you just. That's pretty cool. I didn't you know, even know that. Get, keep the knife set in case I got to cut you. <laughs> Just a case. But if you look at it, I mean, literally, God, it's deep. a lot of trunk space. That's real deep. A lot of trunk space. That's real deep. BMWs don't come with spare tires. Right. All run flats. Yep. The battery, here's another thing people didn't know about batteries. You, you shouldn't have to change a BMW battery. It's a self-charging battery right under here. Can you get to it? Right under there is under this piece oh, here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-charging battery, so all of the power from the brakes and the wheels go right back to it. Oh, never. That's happened. what that is. You yeah. know what? I wonder what that is on my wife's vehicle, and I never knew what that was. Yeah. It goes back to the. See now you your, know. Your battery know. should never go bad in a BMW. If it does, that means your connections are bad. That's the only. Ah, uh, it's a lithium battery. And it recharges. You know, so it's. it's I like, did not know that. Yeah, yeah. You just they, taught me something. Because I see that in my wife's car, braking, you see the power going yeah. back when you're in eco mode. Right. I'm like, this is not an electric car. Yeah, I wonder what that's all about. People who drive in eco mode. I never touch it. Yeah, she does. I don't touch. Okay, so here's I get thing. in, I go straight to sport. <laughs> Dash turn red, brother. Before we even get to the vehicle. So one thing I did, and if you're a BMW owner, anywhere, actually any BMW, you got to get you an iCar Pro. Mm. What iCar Pro does is this little device. You put it into... OBD2. Right in there, right? You, you put it into wherever, you know, if you throw in codes, if your car, this and that. You got an app on the phone, right? App on the phone. This allows me to access all, the, all of the built-in features, anything in the car. So one thing I did, the first thing I did was disable eco mode. The engine start stop, cut all that off. Every warning signal. So what? very safe cars, they come with a billion warning signals. Yeah. You start the car, you get a warning. You go in reverse, you get a warning. That's you a classic BMW. Over, you get a warning. Classic BMW. Cut all cut all of those warnings out. So for those who don't know, most of these cars that you have several different um uh, uh levels of car, right? So you got all five series, but there's so many different five series. Right. Every last yeah. one of those programs, yeah. the uh, brains on those things, they all have the same information, just dumbed down for some, and then some have everything. With this tool, it allows you to unlock or turn on, turn off features that are, are native to the computer already. Yep. So. And you didn't even realize you had. Anything that was programmed in here, I've taken out. For example, you listen to music, you go to the club, you got the you know, music turned up, you're driving, you come out the club, you cut off the car, come out, the, go to the club, come back out, cut the car on, music blasting. That's where you left it at. Yeah. I programmed it where it only, the music only plays at 10% the next time the car You started. Back on. Yep. Yeah, that's, I think that's standard on my car. 10%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't blow your ears out. Yeah. Seatbelt warnings. If I'm just driving, like, let me drop this off at the neighbor's house. And get all the seatbelt warnings and all the chimes. All Turn the them off. Everything's gone. Um, the halos up front, for example. So the halo light, this was, by the way, this is the last year they did halos, which I always love. I love the, the halos. halos. Halo lights. These right now are running at 100% power. What did they run before? Standard. They bring it to you about 30%. Are you serious? 30% is the standard halo power level. These all the way at 100% every time. And because they're LEDs, it's not like they're going to burn out. Right. Um, so that was one thing I wanted to change. I wanted the halo to be. That is so interesting. I would have never known that. I wanted it to be at its brightest. Um, what? I love, here's the thing. Did you do something this one show or this factory? Cause it's got like this blue tint. Okay, so no, this blue tint was something I, I had um, with it. I, I, when I when I got it, I went to- um, That is so I cool. I went to a uh, custom car place, had them put a bluer, just a blue tint on it. it helps filter out a lot of the, the heat that comes with yeah. the sun. 
Um, it blocks a lot of that. Yeah, the, they did a great job too. Um, I noticed that. I like that too. You know, this is it's a know, classic German car thing. Standard tint, and uh, I mean, I, I, and I love it, man. Uh, I think it was it was probably one of the better choices of car that I, it was better than what I expected. Okay. I think that was the thing that got me is I didn't expect it to be this good, but I mean, this thing is quiet. Um, and I didn't realize it could, you could customize it. Yeah. I love a car you can customize because now it feels like you're wrong. Nah, it's your Listen, so when, when they say, I got, you, got a guy. Machine, yeah. I got a guy, G money. If you're looking at this, his motto is customize whatever you drive, whatever, man. Whatever. That's how you make a car yours. I love it, man. So, so those are just some of the things I did, man. Changed a lot of the, the features. You know they explain it and the, here's the thing if you do something and you like oops i messed up you can always go back and just erase it and then it'll recover do it again yeah so that's the great thing about icar pro shout out that's to pretty them, cool uh for this very very wonderful tool man nice look thing. we're not getting paid by them but you know shout out to them hey and you know what it was a youtube <laughs> search and somebody's like you need to yeah my name. you How's need to going? customize customize before you drive so let me okay so we've done the icar updates we did the grill in the front, right? The grill in the front. We're going to. M5. We're going to do the M5 on the front bumper and the rear bumper. Yeah. What else are you planning on doing to the car? So on the outside, that's it. Now, what I may do. Is are you thinking about exhaust? I may change out the lights. I like that idea. I may change out the standard lights. Now, when they light up, they look amazing. Um, I love the LED lights that are built into it. Mm -hmm. Cut on. So I love the LEDs. I love the rows, the flat LEDs. Um, they have the they have the other ones that are, that are a lot more animated. Maybe, okay. You know, I may do those. You just take out the lighting unit here, here, and then you just fix Replace it on the inside, and it pops right in. It's very easy. Then you just connect it. That's what's up. Um, and you don't have to reprogram the car when you do it. It right? automatically picks them up and they function right. the way they're supposed right. to. They should come pre-programmed. Um, depending on your model year. Gotcha. And the last thing I'm going to do is on the interior, I'm going to change out the head unit for the uh, the 2021 OEM unit. The larger screen. The 12. It's gonna be a 12 inch touch screen. Nice. And um, they retrofitted the back piece so that it fits right. It flushes nice. right against the interior. Any program you have to do with that? No, no programming. Go straight in and it works. Too. It's it's three wires. You you have to just pull out the front panel, take out the old head unit connect two wires two or three wires plug and play and that's it put it back in start nasty it up, and that's it the only thing you got to do is unplug the battery in case you get shocked that's, <laughs> that's the only thing you really got to take out but other than that it'd be a shocking experience but, that, but that's it you know i uh, i have seen somewhere they've they've they redone the trunk i think i'm like the trunk the problem is that this color is hard to find yeah um so i get it so so the lights these things are easy yeah, um, anything where you have to deal with the, the actual paint color, yeah. you're going to have somebody, have to find someone that's going to be able to match that to a T. And I love the fact that it's all-wheel drive, man. You don't know what kind of weather you, you deal with. You never know what you're going to deal with. BMWs I agree with you. are rear-wheel drive in, in, in nature, but the X-Drives, they do a fantastic It makes a difference. Job. It really, really does, bro. All the other dailies that I've been looking at, fun dailies, daily for the daily, have been all all-wheel drive. Yeah. Um, because, well, you know, up there in the Midwest, we got snow we have to contend right. with. So whatever I get, it's got to be all wheel my, drive. My tire wear is more even yeah. as opposed to I got to fix the back, yeah. get the front side. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm just going all new sets. Yeah. In fact, brand new set. This, this set, Firestone, is three weeks old on this one right here. Nice. Brand new set makes all the difference, bro. I got to ask you a question, right? So um, people going to ask. I know you did your research. You got the 535. Why the 535 and why not the M? So I went with the 535 because I felt like the M gave me a little too much behind the wheel for carrying a family around. Gotcha, gotcha. I think that, you know, and it's so funny because my wife has an X4. Yeah. Um, BMW I, family, man, for real. She has an X4. We got to review that one. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to make sure that the, uh, look at this moth on Good Lord, I ain't know what that was. <laughs> <Moms are> friendly. <laughs> That's yeah, uh, but like bees, man. I, I wanted, I wanted the M. I wanted the M, but I just felt like what I wanted it for versus what. Because at one point, this was the only car. Yeah. 
Now, looking back, had we had another one, I would have went M. Yeah. Definitely would have went M. Yeah, with, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Most of the things I want to do with art, exterior-wise, would have already been done. Um, so I'm basically putting the M. I mean, I don't have the engine. I would love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. I asked. I, I had a. I got a buddy who's a mechanic in Atlanta. I asked him about putting in, you know, an intake for this. Try to push it up to um, about 320, and he said for this he's like i wouldn't recommend it. you don't have to he's like you're gonna get what you want out of this got it but he's like you know now if you want to do competition you want to put yeah he's like sure but if you if you plan on driving every day it's like, yeah, leave it alone now i was in atlanta a lot of traffic can't really open it up now i'm in alabama you could probably play a little bit i, I could mess with it Ooh. plus yeah we, we have a second vehicle well, we should, yeah let's look, let's look inside so, yeah one of the things I did inside, and I'm gonna show you here, let me, my brothers, I want you to go in now, just look down there at the floors. Tell me what you see. Oh, what? You put the lights down there? Oh yeah, dog. that's what I'm talking about. Put a whole light kit in. Oh yeah. I can make it jump. Oh yeah. Do a color change. Oh yeah, y'all know we had that in the 300 too, so I love this. Crossfade with it. <laughs> And you just you just do what you want, you know. I like to ride at uh He front and rear with the lights too, guys. Y'all like see him back there. Y'all see him back there. So I really like to go with a blue or a red, kinda match it up. Excuse my daughter's mess in the back. We're not even looking she, at that. She bro. lives back there, Listen, bro. Listen, bro, you got kids. That's what it you is. You do a stroke. Nice. And you know what? The one thing about it, she loves it. She all about to ask. How does iron you like it, man? Loves the light kit, man. Um, I got it all put in where you there's no wiring exposed anywhere. I went underneath all the trim. I did the same. Very thing. easy to do. Yeah. Here's one thing about the interior of a BMW, man. Is uh, you know, as, as, luxuri as luxurious as these cars are, a lot of it is just plastic yeah. and pins. That's all it is. All you need is a kit. Get yeah. it right under, pull it out. Won't damage anything. So, but I love. This is how it lights up, man. Between the the, the door panels, Ooh, you know, the door panels have their own series of lights yep. along here. That trim. Underneath. Yep. And then everywhere else, however you want it, you can do it. And that's how it works, man. So, so the new head unit I'm gonna put in works exactly like the way it does now. All of the features work exactly with the iDrive. And all you gotta do, you just pop everything out, just throw it back in there, man. Just plug it on in. So it's, it's great. You know, temperature controls. Everything is for, all through the... For all four sections of the car. It has its own individual controls. And I don't have to do anything to the back. They can do it themselves. I turn that music off. I can't be getting copyright. Yeah, this is, this is Christmas music. <laughs> it's just that time of the year. <laughs> So yeah, so this thing is it's doing great, man. This is pretty cool, man. So, you know, it, it's I have had zero mechanical issues with this car, zero. And, and soon you start messing with it, you start breaking stuff. So I, I don't blame you for that. Not a soon single, you start doing too many crazy things, you're gonna start breaking it. Not a single. So, we wrote the M5 off. We're for probably now. for now. Do you see yourself? Because you probably you're gonna end up with a panorama. I know it. I need mean Do it. you see yourself transitioning from I don't know, honestly, you go M5, you ain't gonna want panorama. No, no. Or do you see yourself skipping from this straight to the panorama or bouncing into the M5 for a while before going to it? I need to get behind the the, the panorama and just I need to play with it first. I need to see. I've I've driven the M5 and I'm telling you, it it's was a hard. monster. It was hard to let go. Yeah, it's a monster. Um, so have I. I think it's I'll put the I think card up there, guys, so y'all can see that M5. <laughs> <laughs> I think aesthetically, man, it's tough. It's they both look great. You know, I will say Porsche did something special with that vehicle, man. They really, really did. Yeah. I, I'll take that over any Porsche vehicle other than a 911 Carrera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah, yeah. Just does something for my life, man. I like but, the panorama. But hey, I love, love the styling of a BMW, man. Um, 
and in the service, you know, when I, I can take this to any any dealership, man, they treat it like it was a twenty twenty. Yeah, yeah. They they treat every person yeah. in the car with respect. Yeah, I've seen people pull in with some nineties. Yeah, and boy, they treat that thing pristine and clean it, and they just they keep you going, bro. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. So I, I can't I can't deny it, man. It's, it's been. Not that, but you got a lot of uh, technology in this car that let them know what's going on with your car before you even have to go there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, I can start him up. Now that's one. That was one of the alarms I just hadn't taken out. <laughs> that first time. Was, was the door opening up? Very quiet start. Yeah. Thing is just. It's, it's loud. Yeah. You want to be. Yeah. You need to get you an exhaust, man. Oh, man. I do that. So, yeah. Actually, it's funny. One of the guys down the street has a custom um, 3 Series. Yeah. He has an exhaust on it. I've seen him. He got it all black. Oh, it's beautiful, man. He and I talk every now and then. Yeah. Like, I'm not there yet, man. I just, <laughs> well, you know the other. Antoine, shout out to my brother, A.B., who got an opportunity to meet this guy. They got a lot of things in common, and they're going to hang out, man. They're going to hang out. And, of course, he's an M3 driver, and he loves his M3 to the nth degree. So, yeah, hey, man, it's, it's, it is what it is. I think the, the, the twin turbo engine, you know, in line six they did. Yeah. And this was um, – was one of the more it was one of the more popular that was the other thing one of the more popular engines that yeah. they made yeah um they have since the f80 they've, they've since deviated from those you know the engine in my wife's car is completely different from yeah this one. uh but this one right here man was a, just special man and what year does uh does your wife have oh she's got a 2022 okay 2022 a, yeah, x4 x4 um with a turbo turbo inline four and uh you know it goes yeah real quiet i wanted mine to make some noise yeah i ain't mad at you i'm not mad at you we like we like noise we like a little bit of noise a little grunt man thank you for sharing uh this thing with us i finally get a chance to really see it after all the talks and things that we talked about doing uh when you when you you know you take an m5 out and then downgrade a little bit and you'll see you know there there's a very distinct difference yeah but you also say I can roll with it. Yeah. If I had to go this route, yeah. I'm fine. You know what? Uh, be honest with you, after the 300, because this fall within that same class of the yeah. 300, yeah, exactly. um, I appreciated my 300. I had a great time with my 300. It's a peppy. It's a decent amount of power. It gave me what I wanted. It was all-wheel drive. I could have driven it anywhere. Well, when I first got it, I did drive it all the time. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I did all the show stuff, luring and put the 22-inch wheels it became more showy. It didn't become, it wasn't practical anymore. So right. trust me, I get it, man. I really do get it. And I understand the usability um, of a car that falls within this class. Um, I see nothing wrong with the move. Not only that, but this gives you a, a different level of dependability mm -hmm. because you go in, chances are you're going to start doing more things to it, yeah. but offer yeah. more opportunities to break the car. So trust me. I get it, and I know why you made the move. Amen. Uh, and and moved into this direction, but listen, bro, this this gives you opportunity to look at up other things later, also. Right. So if this, if, if this is a starting spot, this is a good place. It's to a great start. place to start. Great, now you have a lot. The litmus test is going to be, yeah. it starts here, yeah. where do we go from here? You yeah. can't go anywhere lower. Right. Uh, the last, you know, one of the other features, the heads-up display. You know, the heads-up display on this shows me everything yeah i love that everything I love that that's feature. in the head unit yeah I do it all for my steering wheel yeah never take your eye off the yeah head. i don't even look at the yeah the speedometer yeah because it's right there it, it, it'll all tell me man and, and that's that's a feature again you my wife's car doesn't have it right i'm like that should be a standard a standard feature, yeah. you know what i mean we talked about this i love yeah. it heads up. i have it in zeus yeah. man i love the heads of love display heads man. Up, man it gives me a way to put everything i if i'm driving spiritedly and i want to do some stuff when i'm playing with the paddles i can see rpm right there right there i can see yeah. how fast i'm going right there yeah. none of that but when i'm switching through radio stations i can see what song i'm switching to come on right there yeah. so i know exactly what you're saying brother yeah man
Oh, look at this. This looks weird because it's got, like, it's bright right down the middle. It's dark over there. It is, this is weird. Bro, tornado warning in December. No, dog, I ain't Dang, ready for that. Tornado, but it's probably gonna rain a little bit. Ah. Yeah, this is my, this is my, my, my guy right yes, here. Yes, sir. This, this thing is, this is, has never let me down, man. That's what's up, Damn. man. Man, like I said before, man, I really do appreciate you sharing this thing with us, giving us the information, the story, the insight, telling us a little bit about Antoine. And uh, we got more stories to come, man. He get that panorama. Woo. And we he might be hanging out with us <laughs> on a rally. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But listen, guys, y'all know how we do, man. We, this thing here, he's not finished. He's going to take it to the next level. Well, we know it ain't normal right now. And he's going to be getting it to that next level. Believe you me. But listen, guys, y'all know how we close out, man. Remember, guys, we don't do normal stuff around here. This ain't no, what they call it? The ultimate driving experience, right? Ultimate driving experience. Listen, man, we don't do normal around here. No, why is that? Don't be average, dog. Listen, man, because you were designed for greatness. God, because you were designed for greatness, you have the right, the responsibility, and authority to never be average. So, guys, don't. Be average. Duh.